Did you know that 40 to 50% of women experience life transitions or periods of self-reflection in their 40s and beyond? And this often leads to personal transformation? Well, these experiences can prompt shifts in priorities, self-improvement efforts, and overall life su success and satisfaction. Among that group, 78% of women in their 40s report feeling more confident than ever before. That's right, your 40s can be an amazing time for personal growth and transformation. Let's explore how you can live your best life in this exciting decade. Stick around to discover practical strategies and hear a bit of my story that might change your perspective. Welcome back to the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, your hub for everything women. Today, you're tuning into our Glow and Grow series, dedicated to self-improvement for the fabulous woman over 40. We're thrilled to have you here. So grab your coffee, settle in, and let's dive into growth and empowerment together. Stay with us as we explore new ways to glow and grow every day. Start by talking about why your 40s are such a great time for self-improvement. By now, you've gained valuable life experience and wisdom. You know yourself better than ever before. This self-awareness is a powerful tool for making positive changes. But let's be real, this decade isn't without its challenges. Many women in their 40s feel stuck in their careers or personal lives. Health issues may start to crop up, causing concern. Some struggle with a sense of stagnation, wondering if their best years are behind them. If you've felt any of these things, you're not alone. The good news is that these challenges can be the catalyst for amazing transformations. Let's look at some strategies for leveling up your life in your 40s. The leveling up concept is one that at the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, we have been talking about and living for years. Take a listen to these wisdom snippets from a women's empowerment conversation between directors Clara Brown and Claudette on leveling up and what it means There's no them. satisfaction. But that level of dissatisfaction that you might have that that you will have now you can flip that script turn it around and pour yourself into something that you're passionate about um colleen said wheel and come again it's a little bit more than that colleen it's not just wheel and come again it definitely it's wheel it's come again it's try again but take it to the next level of trying of trial mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so you know um and i i i for one i'm not going to bash nine to five um everybody's path is different and in leveling mm -hmm. up i don't as we thought about it and as we discussed it in leveling up um it doesn't mean that you're going to leave your job to go start a business for some people it might be that you know but on a personal level for me leveling up means in my own capacity it means leveling up spiritually you know um i am a spiritual person but i find that when i because i've been thinking about this how how do i put this into practice in my own life and i'm going to ask you clara to to share you know so that people understand really in practical sense what you mean for me leveling up the I spend a lot of time alone and that's intentional and it's even going to get more intentional this year, you know, because I find that the older I get, I just don't have a tolerance for, for nonsense um, in, in my personal space. So for me, leveling up means making myself even more comfortable at home. So um, this Christmas, I bought myself a masterpiece of a computer but it's a gaming computer because i love to play computer games <laughs> and for me that's leveling up because i'm moving to the next level of my gaming experience with a beautiful computer um so that's one part of my life in terms of leveling up because but now i go out there go look the man be too old for no i'm not too old for that you know but i just i'm not interested i mean now go look the woman i'm just not interested so for me on a spiritual level it's just being more with source and 
doing me more in a professional on a professional level i started um a new job um two three months so what are some practical steps to leveling up first up setting new goals take some time to reflect on what you really want at this stage of your life maybe you've always wanted to start a business but never had the courage or perhaps you'd like to prioritize your health and fitness whatever it is write it down and make a plan to achieve it before we talk about healthy habits and your mental health subscribe to our channel to get more self-improvement content whenever we upload a new video now let's talk about adopting healthier habits your 40s are a great time to focus on your physical and mental well-being consider incorporating regular exercise into your routine even a 30-minute walk each day can make a big difference don't forget about nutrition eating a balanced diet can boost your energy and mood another powerful strategy is seeking new experiences try something you've never done before a couple of years ago a friend and longtime member of the daughters of sheba foundation gave a presentation about starting afresh at the time herself a part of the women over 40 group lorna had this to say about trying something new try new things people entering the workplace today are a commodity says fred cook ceo of golin harris he further stated that they have attended the same schools they have read the same books gone to the same movies played the same video games and watched the same tv shows he also stated that what they don't have is life experience ideas of their own or world views he indicated that those are the things that elevate your career or help in personal growth i would recommend that we also try new foods yes new foods healthy foods read books that are outside your area of expertise and don't be afraid to take bigger risks it's the life experiences that broaden your perspective along with what lorna said you can also take a cooking class learn a new language or plan a solo trip these new experiences can reignite your passion for life and open up new opportunities now let's look at a real life example of someone who transformed their life in their 40s take claudette our president when she turned 40 years old she felt stuck in her career path in her new country canada so she decided to take a leap and pursue pastoral care and counseling claudette enrolled in university and started the required program to enter the field of chaplaincy while there were setbacks along the way including the breakup of her long-term relationship she had never felt more fulfilled on a professional level it was what saved her from a complete mental health breakdown she rediscovered her zest for life with her increased online interactions with her target group women claudette's story shows that it's never too late to pursue your dreams remember transformation doesn't happen overnight it's about making small consistent changes that add up over time be patient with yourself and celebrate every small victory along the way. One often overlooked aspect of personal growth is building and nurturing relationships. Your 40s can be a great time to deepen existing friendships and make new ones. Consider joining a club or group related to your interests. These connections can provide support and inspiration on your journey. Another important area to focus on is continuous learning. Your brain is still capable of growing and changing, even in your 40s and beyond. Read books, take online courses, or attend workshops in areas that interest you. This not only keeps your mind sharp, but can also open up new opportunities. Financial planning is another crucial aspect of leveling up your life in your 40s. If you haven't already, start thinking seriously about your retirement plans. Consider meeting with a financial advisor to create a solid strategy for your future. Don't forget about self-care and stress management. Your 40s can be a busy time, juggling career, 
family, and personal goals. Make sure to carve out time for relaxation and activities that bring you joy. This could be as simple as reading a book, taking a bath, or practicing meditation. It's okay to ask for help when you need it. Whether it's from friends, family, or a professional coach or therapist. Sometimes, an outside perspective can provide valuable insights and support. To wrap up, let's recap the main points we've covered today. Your 40s can be an incredible time for personal growth and transformation. Set new goals, adopt healthier habits, and seek out new experiences. But more than ever, more than anything, be patient with yourself, celebrate your small victories, and don't be afraid to ask for help, even from me. We'd love to hear about your experiences. Have you made any big changes in your 40s or beyond? Are you planning to? Share them in the comments and let's talk. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content on personal development and self-improvement. And have a great rest of the week. Until next week. Bye-bye.